Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Hi everyone, Sue from 1A Auto and today we're going to be putting front sway bar links in our 07 Mazda 6 sedan. If you need this part or any other part for your car, click on the link below and head on over to 1AAuto.com. 21 millimeter. I have the vehicle supported and just enough weight on the tire so that it won't turn. I'm going to break the lug nut free. You know, raise up support your vehicle. You use a uh, jack with jack stands. Uh, I have a two post lift I'm going to be using. There we go. Now we're ready to Take your tire off. So I'm going to break the top of the sway bar link nut off of the strut housing, and that's a 14 millimeter socket. Yep, the uh, the stud is moving on the inside, so they they make an Allen slot so I'm going to get my allen socket and a wrench. So the setup I have here is I have my 14 millimeter wrench holding that nut and the center hole for that sway bar link is a five millimeter. I'm going to see if I can turn this actually. Turn this wheel just a hair. Nice. I can get more of a center angle. I'm going to tap it in because it's kind of rusty. Now with that there, and holding that, going the opposite way that I'm going to pull down. Take the hammer to that, tap that off. I just spray the bottom part of the link, let that soak, get my 14 millimeter and my five millimeter Allen head socket. So I'm gonna break the nut free first with a 14 millimeter socket. That's spinning in place, so now I'm ready to put my ratchet wrench or regular wrench on there with a five millimeter Allen head socket. There we go. Okay, so when that happens, now we're gonna get a pair of locking pliers and lock the back of the sway bar link. Sunglasses. Okay. Hopefully get these to lock on that little steel ridge that's in there. Okay. I'm gonna put that socket back on because now I have the freedom of the socket and the ratchet. That's working, so we're going to back that all the way off. Um, maybe I can use the... There we go. Here we have the new part from 1A Auto. It's a sealed unit, just like the factory. 
nice and tight bushing in there. Comes with its own new lock nuts. Same length. Studs are the same length. So if you need this part or any other part for your car, click on the link below and head on over to 1AAuto.com. So I put the lower strut sway bar link in the lower sway bar and I'm going to put the top one in. Start this nut. Put that one in. Okay, now I can tighten them down. So now with my new link in there, I'm going to tighten it up. And the nut on the new link is a 15 millimeter. I'm going to put the wrench on there because I'm going to have to use the Allen head, which is a 5 millimeter. And now I can tighten that down. Now I move to the top. 15 millimeter, and I'm going to put an extension on my Allen so I don't damage the brake line. So the torque on the sway bar link nut is 40 foot pounds. Top and bottom are the same. I'm gonna have to use a stubby socket to get in that top one. There we go. Torque to 40 foot pounds. So before I Tighten the top of the strut. I'm going to put the tire on so it will be 100% seated. Twenty-one millimeter socket. Just going to bottom them out. It's on the ground. I'm going to torque it. The wheel lug nut torque for this car is 87 foot-pounds. Now it's time to torque the lug nuts, 87 foot-pounds, in a star pattern. One more time, real quick. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.